What's going on guys? Fun with Knives back again and it's new knife day. I actually won this knife off of a bet with a friend of mine. So came in the mail today and I wanted to show you guys real quick. We're actually not in my standard location. I'm in the warehouse of my work and yeah, I just had to get this out to you guys. So this is a CRKT confidence in hand. So with this knife, you do get the standard green box, comes in a plastic sleeve and your little pamphlet here that'll usually have a joke or something in it about one of their knives, um, how to care for it, just the standard stuff. Now uh, this knife actually came out in 2017, so this is a new release and one I was very eager to get my hands on, so I'm glad I won that bet. Uh, if you guys are wondering what the bet was about, we were just playing basketball. We bet a $30 knife, so this is my prize. Alrighty. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick specs rundown. You guys already know the knife. You saw the title. This is the CRKT Aux Fixed Blade. Aux standing for auxiliary. This is a Lucas Burnley design for which he has collaborated with CRKT many times before. And many of his knives are actually really popular uh, within the CRKT line. So blade length on this guy is three and a half inches. Overall length here is seven and a half inches. So uh, around a four inch handle Got a weight of right at 2.9 ounces So this thing is ultra light for its size and its capability and of course, I think that is without the sheath Usually as those weights are so very lightweight knife easy to carry handle thickness on this guy is 0.49 inches at its widest point. So maybe I can get that to you guys Just a little bit of a palm swell going on so under half an inch thick with a pretty standard, again, 0.12 inch blade stock. So if you're wondering why I was interested in this knife, because it seems so plain, um, that was kind of what drew me to it. You guys know I like EDCing a fixed blade when I can, yet the EDC fixed blade market is not very plentiful. It seems like there's a whole lot of blades that are too big, too heavy to carry, and a whole lot that are a little bit too small. I'm not super fond of the tiny little you know one inch two inch blade neck knives and i thought this was a good happy medium let's go to the blade here this is a spear point made out of 8 cr 13 mov a steel that we're probably all very familiar with and it is full tang full tang all the way through the handle here nice satin finish on this blade you can see that reflecting some light and then a pretty high hollow grind and this thing is extremely thin behind the edge I did some cutting with it just to test initial sharpness and it came wicked sharp so good job CRKT let's see what we got going here aux and Burnley design on this flat and just CRKT on this flat pretty simple utility based blade shape here I mean it kind of reminds me of the skyline if the skyline had this little swedge here I can remember where my camera is actually pointing this little swedge is going to increase a little bit in penetration. It thins out your tip just a hair, and then you're basically back to full thickness right after that. So I think the blade is highly functional. I think it's going to prove to be good at a whole lot of tasks. And the reason I'm doing this down, um, at, <laughs> this is after work, is because I want to use this and test this blade right after this video. So I didn't want to wait until I got home. So pretty gorgeous, clean blade on this model. Down to the handle here. Of course, the material here is glass filled nylon with kind of a cool honeycomb texture. And it is just a little bit rounded. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's kind of a palm swell there, so it does feel pretty decent in hand. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the jimping. To me, it's too sharp. And let me see if I can do this here. I mean, there's a couple of just ridges here, really, but they really dig in your thumb if you're going to be doing some cutting with this thing. It's just going to really mess with your thumb so I don't know if I'm too fond on the jimping or not but even up here in this kind of saber grip it feels good in reverse grip it feels pretty decent too and I haven't shown you guys the best part but we'll show that in just a second two screws holding each handle scale on uh, fit and finish is about on par with other 30 uh, ish dollar fixed blades where your handle scales don't match up extremely well but there's no glaring fit and finish concerns here. And there is a, your lanyard hole here in the back. And this size of blade, I think, is a good EDC fixed blade size. Any smaller, you're going to be losing um, some grip space on the handle. Any larger, it's going to be a little bit harder to carry. It's going to be a little bit heavier. So for basic utility tasks from 
you know, opening letters, boxes to cutting up fruit. I mean, this is going to be a good size for that. And I think Lucas Burnley intended this knife to be um, somewhat of a backup tactical knife. I mean, hence the name auxiliary to your primary defensive blade or firearm, whatever it's going to be. To me, this is just going to be a utility blade, something I like to carry that's easy to carry around. The reason I say that it's easy, I've already thrown it on my belt once or twice, is the sheath. Pretty simple injection molded sheath here, just plastic, but there is absolutely no rattle and the retention is awesome. You hear that click in, not worried about that coming out. I mean, you could wear this as a neck knife. It's held in that securely. And of course that may change over time, but hopefully it won't. And introducing the best part of this knife, this hook right here. This allows you to carry this knife in the waistband extremely easily and discreetly and it sits just perfect this rotates you can tighten it down just a phillips head screwdriver to your liking and you're good to go not that i need to conceal a fixed blade by any means but just kind of keeps it out of the way and it's very accessible with either hand because i've already tried it so all in all i'm excited about this blade and it doesn't look like a very exciting blade just i mean it's a black plastic handle blade with a you know a satin finish it looks like a whole bunch of other things on blade hq but to me this stands out from the crowd and is hopefully going to fulfill a niche that needs to be filled and that's the budget everyday carry fixed blade so thanks for watching guys as always and i'll have a review coming up on this knife in the upcoming weeks or months depending on how long it takes me to actually formulate my opinion so thanks for watching and remember, have fun with your knives.